Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys my February favorites. Now I can't believe February has come to an end so soon and it just feels like yesterday that I just did my January favorites video. Now I want to show you guys what I love this month and what I've been using a lot. So it'll be a mixture of beauty, skincare and miscellaneous products. So let's get into it. Right, guys, let's start off with some body products. So last month I was using the Dove Gradual Tanning Lotion. So this month I have been using the Latan brand and I've never used this brand before but it was on sale at Priceline so I thought I'd give it a go. And this one is a Gradual Tanning Lotion with the Moroccan Argan Oil infused. So it means that it's extra nourishing on the skin so if you do have specifically drier skin then you might like this one better just because the Argan Oil does give your skin more of a boost of hydration. So when I used this for the first time this month I was so surprised at how deep and bronzy it looks and it's amazing just one application and the next day I'm already bronzed and glowing so I was really really impressed and I think the reason why is because this product doesn't have different levels so Dove would have the light to medium and the medium to dark level for the gradual tanners but I chose the light version so that's why it wasn't as dark but this one however doesn't have those levels so I guess it has like a medium kind of bronzy glow that you know anybody would love anybody would suit and for me even though I have a lighter skin as a base this one is perfect just to give me that medium tanned look and it doesn't take it too far to the point where I look really dark and brown and it's too obvious and it looks a bit fake so that's why this one I have been loving so much I even have been doing it around three to four times a week and that's perfect so it's enough to just give me that bronzy glow and just to take it a little bit further instead of what does was um, giving me so that was giving me of a natural result while this one from Latan was giving me like a proper you know I am playing girl kind of results <laughs> so I really like this product a lot and comparing to the Dove one I like this one a lot in terms of the texture like it's not sticky at all whereas when I wore Dove especially in the summertime when it's really hot and humid it wasn't a nice feeling just because it was very sticky on the skin and it makes you want to shower really quickly now with gradual tanners it works best when you leave it overnight and then you know wash it off the next day however with Dove it was just so sticky and sometimes when I go to bed it's really annoying but with this one from Latan it doesn't feel sticky at all so when I go to bed it dries very quickly so with Latan it doesn't even give me that sticky feeling at all and once I get into bed it's not even sticky by then and I can just go to sleep really comfortably I don't have to worry about feeling very humid or sticky and that's why I really love this product so I'm really impressed and I I definitely recommend this to you guys if you wanted a nice natural tan. Now the next product I'm loving this month is definitely another Garnier product and I love Garnier skincare so much especially their cleansers and their makeup removers I always rave about it but this time I want to try something different because I've been using the original cleansing water for a while now and that one's got the pink cap however when I saw this in Priceline it was, it's a new product and it has a green cap and this is basically the cleansing water so same product to remove makeup however it's aimed at combination to oily skin so when I saw this I was like oh this might be good for me just because my skin type is a combination to oily skin type and especially in summertime I get extra oily and that's why I bought this product because I thought I'd give it a go and see if it makes any difference now the thing I found about this product is comparing to the original micellar cleansing water is that this one mattifies my skin more so after I use this on my face to remove my makeup I actually feel like my skin's more mattified which is a nice feeling especially in summertime again you know when it's hot and humid you don't want to use a really oily makeup remover and it just makes your skin feel like it's so oily and you just want to double cleanse again so with this product it actually doesn't make me feel that way now comparing it to the original cleansing water I don't really see a big difference at all the only difference like I said is just that it makes my skin feel more matte so again you know it might be more better for people who are like me who have oilier skin type or if you want to use it in summer and then you know keep your original cleansing water for winter so I still love this product and I think I'll I'll definitely go for this product again and repurchase it just because I love it so much and it's never let me down and it's just perfect to remove all foundation makeup and then when it comes to my lips and my eyes I just go back to my Garnier 2 in 1 makeup remover that has the oil so it's by face and it just removes all the lips and eye makeup effectively while for the face I don't like to use oil makeup removers I feel like the oil really makes my skin feel extra oily and it feels very thick and I don't really like the texture so that's why cleansing waters are best when it comes to removing foundation and face makeup. Now the next product I want to show you guys is ta-da! 
So this is a hair cleansing duo. So it's shampoo and conditioner from the brand Cordavo. I don't know if you heard about it before, just because you can't really find this brand anywhere, but besides hair salons. And I thought I'd give it a go because the packaging appealed to me and also what this brand is about really appealed to me. So basically it's sustainable, it's made in Australia and owned in Australia. It's also animal cruelty free and it also doesn't have sulfate, which is great, if especially when you care about that and you don't want your hair to get any more damaged or dry. And this one is basically the Blonde Senses Shampoo and Conditioner range. And it has the dark lid for the conditioner and shampoo has a light lid so you can tell the two apart. And I love this stuff so much. I actually find that it is one of the best purple shampoos I've ever used. And I just love this product so much because it keeps my hair as ashy and as cool as possible. And since my violet and purple tones have rinsed out, now it's left over with like a grayish kind of tone. And you can see that there's barely any brassiness in my hair and it's all thanks to these guys. And it's amazing. I just find that it actually is very effective at combating the yellow and the brassiness and any orange tone in your hair while keeping it very cool and has more of a blue base underneath it. Now when it comes to the shampoo, I might try and show you guys how it looks like. So there you go. So you can see it's a very dark ultraviolet blue shampoo and it's super strong and actually a little bit goes such a long way and it's so effective. It doesn't leave my hair feeling dry at all. And another great point about the shampoo and conditioner is that it smells amazing. So. Oh, it smells so nice. I think it's actually written here in the back what kind of scent it is. So it says the fragrance is vanilla violet. And also, I forgot to mention, guys, it's also paraben free, which is amazing as well. So no harsh chemicals, especially when you're, you know, very um, vegan friendly and if you're also a bit concerned about what you're putting into your hair. And then when it comes to conditioner, it's actually like a lighter purple shade. So I don't know if you can see it properly. I try and squeeze some out. But you can see there guys, it's a very light purple shade. So it's not as dark as the shampoo, but that's how it's meant to be because conditioners are usually more uh, creamy and it's more milky, which is why it's a bit more diluted when it comes to the purple shade. While the shampoo has to be like a very strong dark purple color. And that's how you know that it's going to be effective against combating the yellow and the brassness in your hair. Now, when I use these products, it's not drying at all, which is a big plus because I found that in the past, with a lot of purple shampoos, they can be very drying, especially when it's not um, hydrating enough. You can actually feel when you touch your hair, it's actually very dry and it feels very straw-like. But with this kind of shampoo and conditioner, it doesn't make my hair feel that way. And the conditioner is super nourishing, which is a big plus. So I've got the last, I've got one more product to show you guys when it comes to skincare and it is definitely the L'Occitane hand cream. So I remember my colleague was using a L'Occitane hand cream and it smelled so good and I asked her what are you using because it smells amazing and she showed me it was a L'Occitane brand and ever since then I went into the store and I went to grab myself a few little products and actually I like how they have the mini char deluxe size hand creams and this one is 10 mils so it's perfect to put in your handbag and just to take it on the go. Now I've been using this for a month now and I still got a little bit left so it's lasted me really really well. Now they also have a larger size so their classic size is a 30 ml um, hand lotion tube however because I've never tried this brand before I thought to myself why not get the small size and see how you go first and if you really like it invest in the bigger size. And this one I chose in the scent roses and I love this smell so much it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so nice. Again, usually when it comes to rose scented products, sometimes it can smell very overwhelming, it's very strong, and it smells too artificial and it gives me a headache sometimes. However, with this one, it doesn't smell that way. And it actually smells really light and soft, which is really enjoyable to use. So I normally like to put hand cream on after I come back from the bathroom, off my hands feel very dry, and I apply it once or twice a day. And this product is so nourishing as well, so if you do have slightly drier hands, give these products products a go. Okay, so now it's time for makeup products. So starting off with, I want to tell you guys how much I have been loving the NYX Matte Setting Spray. Now this is a great cheaper alternative if you don't want to splurge on another brand such as Urban Decay or Chanel and you don't want to spend that much money on a setting spray. Now this one was pretty cheap. When I bought it, it was under $10 and it's amazing. And the great thing about it is actually it's a bigger size. So this one is a 60ml size 
which will last you for months and it just depends how often you spray and how much you spray on yourself and basically I just spray this every morning after I do my makeup all over my face and it also keeps my makeup lasting all day and night which I have tried and tested so I know just because I also have the Urban Decay and the Chanel setting spray so you know comparing today's products it actually lasts all day and for the price it's such a good bargain for the quality as well and the good thing about it is that it's great quality it doesn't remove any makeup on the surface it doesn't affect the look of your makeup it doesn't make it appear more oily and it also feels very refreshing which is really nice especially in the summertime when it's really hot and humid and you just want to you know refresh your skin so this product is great and I'm almost finished I can feel it's quite light now so I think it's almost a little bit below halfway so once I finish this I'm definitely going to restock it Alright, so coming up next, I want to show you guys, I have been loving the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Now, this product is actually part of their permanent range, so if you want, you can also go into your local store and you can check this out. And it's not limited edition, so it means that, you know, when you purchase it, you can repurchase it again if you ever finish it. Now, this product lasts for so long, and I just love the colours in this palette. So as you can see, you get three different colours that you can mix and match, the top colour being a bit more of a golden bronzier shade. So sometimes I like to use it as a cheek colour or I can just use it on top of my bronzer to give it a glow. However, if I just use it by itself as a highlight, on my skin tone, it won't work because I tried it once and I was like, oh my gosh, it actually has so much colour in there. So for me, if you do have a more lighter, fair skin tone, I wouldn't recommend this as a highlight shade. It will actually be better for you guys to use it as a blush color or a bronzer color however if you have an olive dark or tan skin tone then I guess you can actually use this as a highlighter and get away with it now for the other two colors I love these so much so the middle color is actually more of a stronger highlight shade so I've used it today on my nose bridge and on my cheekbones you can see how natural it is and I can see why our glass is known for giving that really natural and soft highlight effect so if you're someone that really likes that softer glow and don't want to look too too glowy and too shiny then you might love hourglass formulas just because they're very finely milled and I find that the powder is so super lightweight and micro that it just looks very soft on the skin it blurs out the skin and it makes it look like it's been photoshopped but you know it's not because you're using powder on your face and it looks amazing in photos and as you can see on camera it just catches it really nicely and it's very soft now for the last color here this is the one that gives that really nice diffused look Look. You can actually use it all over the face just because it's super light and subtle so you can't really see that strong highlight effect. So for this color I used around the cheek area here and you can see that it does not grab any light. So you can see how soft it is. All it does to me it's like a little blurrer. So basically it just blurs out all the colors together. It just combines them and makes it look super soft which I really like because I can actually apply it all over my face without getting scared that it might make my face look super shiny at all. So today I've been using these two colors on my highlight areas and around my T-zone. While this color I would use just right on the cheeks just to give it a bit of color on your face. So yeah guys, if you see this in your store, give it a go and check it out because the powders feel amazing. It's super lightweight. It doesn't make my face look cakey or dry. So it's perfect even if you've got dry skin. Okay, so the next two products I want to show you guys is both from Too Faced and I love this brand so much. I love the brushes and these are the new products I bought from this brand a while ago and I've been using it a lot this month and I just love it so much. So starting off with is the Better Than Sex Mascara. Now the name is a bit funny, it's crazy, it's out there but I just love the packaging so much. It's a beautiful soft metallic pink and come on, the packaging is just enough to give you a reason why you should buy this. And let me show you guys how the brush looks. Now the brush is not what I normally go for. So as you can see, so hopefully you guys can have a little good look at the brush wand. And you can see that it's actually a bit more fat, a bit more thicker than usual. So I normally don't go for this kind of brush wand. But because everyone just kept raving about it, I thought I'd give it a go. And I got a little gift card to spend anyway. And ever since I tried it, I really like it. So the good thing about this mascara is that it doesn't give me that very clumpy look lash look which I am afraid of. It actually separates my lashes really nicely and it doesn't smudge on my eyes which is the biggest test. 
just because I'm quite oily and I sweat a lot as well during summer and my skin tends to get really oily and shiny and sometimes you know mascara can run down my lower lash line and it happens to everybody like it smudges down the lower lash line at the end of the day and looks like panda eyes so at the end of the day when I see that it doesn't smudge on my lower lash line then it is a good sign that this mascara is the one for me just because everyone's different for some people it smudges and for some it doesn't but for me I was very impressed at how the formula held on so long especially on a hot summer's day in Australia okay so the last product in the makeup section it is the melted liquid lipsticks now the packaging again is so beautiful I love the packaging so much so they have the iconic golden metallic cap and then you have the packaging right here which is a nice metallic plastic packaging and it's so cute so this color is called sellout and I love this color so much it is a beautiful like a bit of a peachy beige tone and I just love it so much for every day and it suits my skin tone and it's always sells out so I've been looking for this color for a while now and I just keep coming to the store checking up to see if they restock it because every time I go there it's always sold out so I was so happy to finally grab the last one of this and to have it for myself and I just love the formula as well it's not drying at all it is very creamy and it dries to a very beautiful matte finish which I like and it lasts all day so even without a lip liner it just lasts all day and it just doesn't budge unless I eat and have lunch or dinner and that just removes a little bit inside the lips and all I do is just touch up the inside but of course if you add a lip liner underneath your lips then it's going to make it last longer as well okay so for the final product I want to show you guys it is a book so this month I have been reading this book and I love it so much it is actually quite thin so I actually finished it quite quickly but this one is from one of their penguin brands so this is from a poet called Catullus I'm not sure if I pronounced it properly but I like to read poems and I love poets so much just because I just personally like reading poems I just feel like it gives me a great insight on certain ideas and certain topics like love romance life and advice and I just like how poets word their creations they you know they create a world by using words and I think that's really beautiful and it's very calming as well when I read poems so I don't know if people read poems anymore but I'm really interested in it so there you go guys I've been loving this book this month and this one is called I hate and I love so let me read you guys the synopsis of this book so this is number 69 it is called I hate and I love by turns rapturous, erotic, and despairing, this astonishingly modern verse tells of an ancient Roman poet's all-consuming infatuation with one woman. So, of course, it's obvious this poet is writing about love and this book is a collection of his poems all about this one woman. So let me read you guys a random one. I'll just pick anyone. Okay, so this one's number 91. In this hopeless and wasting love of mine, I trusted you for one reason, Gellius. Not because I knew you well, nor respected your constancy, nor thought you able or willing to rinse out your mind, but merely because the woman for whom this compulsive desire is eating me happens to be neither your mother nor sister, nor any other close female relative. In spite of our intimacy, I did not believe you would find he incentive for action. You did, in the overwhelming attraction. Pure sin holds for you, Gellius, or anything smacking of sin. So, that's a little short little poem that I read from inside this book, and I hope you guys check these out. And it's actually pretty cheap, like this was uh, $2, and in the bookstore, I got this from Kino Kunia in the city store, and I love that bookstore so much. And they have so many little collections of these little mini books that you can just read on the go, or just read casually in your own time, and just leave on the coffee table. Okay guys, so that's it for my February favourite. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and please do check out the products I have mentioned. And thank you so much for watching my video guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!